so Snark Pit here is in the same camp as Datacore, where I think it might actually be a little bit better than in its home game, despite the fact that one of the main features of said map, Snark Pit, doesn't actually work in Team Fortress Classic because the this Snark entity isn't there because you know it's not the same game. But it's like it's just like Datacore, where the grenades are really fun just because of the more angular, closed-in nature of a lot of the map, and just a lot of the traps in general that were carried over from or that were in the map as they were, tend to work a little bit better here just because of the nature of the classes and like how the grenades work and stuff like that. So this is another solid du doubles map that I like, you know, I think is really good. I should also mention too, because I didn't actually know this existed until I started playing this map in Team Forge Classic the other day. There's also this little grenade area I never knew existed in the original map. I don't even know how you open this in normal Half-Life. I think it's got something to do with the button down here that closes, like, this gate or something. I don't know. Also, I'd be remiss if I didn't point out there's Kasali's signature, which you can actually see here, unlike in boot camp. He must have forgot to put the lights on here in the, that map. Or he forgot. He remembered to turn on the lights here. That's what I meant to say. As for this, the map itself, there's a lot of possibilities for, like, you know, the demo man to really mess around. Or really any class with their grenades to throw down here and get some easy kills. I can't really think of many places where you'd want to, like, you know, kind of spawn as, a, like, you know, like, you know, like, kind of, um, you know, camp as an engineer. Like, this is the obvious choice, but, you know, with so many different, like, you know, like, ways and, like, entrances here, you're probably going to get a bunch of grenades up the ass, so I don't really know if I can recommend that. This is a lot more of an offense-based map as it is, like, in regular Half-Life, and that kind of carries over here. Although, remember this wind trap, if you've seen the Half-Life video, which you should? Well, chuck some grenades down there if you see someone stuck there. Because, you know, obviously the grenades are going to go right along with the physics. Which is great. I love that. This is the most passive... That was the most passive freaking pyro I've ever seen. Goodness gracious. Dance, wretched dance! I don't need to tell you, too, that booby trap in this uh, area down here is probably a good idea. I mean, that just goes without saying. But, you know, obviously with the... Di well, don't die when you're doing that. That might help. But I get my easy revenge here. There you go. Ooh. Ow. Oof. Radiation hurts. Ow. I make noises like this when I'm irradiated. Was this a blue dance party over here? Did you see him? Just, like, going nuts. Gotta interrupt this hoedown. Eventually. Okay, apparently these grenades are useless because no one even got phased by that, apparently. About time. <laughs> also, it seems Herb, Herb here wants to be a demo man, too, so, you know, I'll be, I'll be heavy weapons guy. Oh god! What? I see the grenades can actually propel you out of that. Which I'm genuinely surprised. I thought that would actually be the end of me, but... Oh, come on. I can't shoot through this. You would have been dead a second ago if I that didn't happen. Oh, well. Oh, he wants... To, he's just copying me. Do you notice this? I keep switching to that class and he, ev he eventually picks that too. Make up your mind, my friend. Well, let's do something different. Um... It's just soldier. Why not? It's been a while. I mean, this is still really effective too, by the way, because the damage output on this slime here is so high, you're pretty much instantly dead as it is. You're not a me. I'm not even sure if I'm me, honestly. Oh my goodness! What's going? The... No! Maybe it's not actually better per se than it was in Half Life. Like I said, it was like Data Core was. But it's uh, pretty much as fun. You know, I like the way that the classes interact here, especially the more offense-based ones. Um, a lot of opportunities for the classes to shine, like like all the different ones. Except maybe for the sniper, but there's even some like long hallways here that you can might... If you like know how to play your cards right, you might have some success. Um, and yeah, grenades are fun as hell here if you know what, like how to time your throws. So yeah, this is another one I could recommend for, you know, some good old time in TFC.